Chapter 121 Terrifying Sword Chi Get out! Nye Tian gave Liang Yinfeng a cold look, not wanting to talk nonsense at all, and roared angrily. He doesn't have much time to waste time with a group of idiots. If these idiots don't open their eyes, he doesn't mind teaching them how to be human. Huh? Liang Yunfeng's eyes turned cold, and his body released an undisguised chill. Jean DeBeo gulped down his saliva and said to Nye Tian in a low voice, Boss, he is a disciple of the inner court, and he was ordered by the academy to manage the practice field. Speaking of this, Jean DeBeo took a peek at Liang Yunfeng and said in a lower voice, Liang Yunfeng is Liang Yunlong's elder brother, and he wants to avenge his younger brother. Oh? Nye Tian smiled playfully, staring at Liang Yunfeng, and said, No wonder they look so familiar. Liang Yunlong was defeated by Nye Tian in a single blow at the Xinqing Martial Arts Association. Not only was he seriously injured, but Nye Tian even snatched the explosive Yuan pill from his body. Liang Yunlong's beating was minor, but the Liang family lost face because of it. The Liang family can be considered one of the big families in Blue Cloud City. The children of the family were defeated in public and robbed of their belongings. Of course, it is impossible to swallow this tone. Especially Lian Yunfeng, who had been waiting for Nye Tian to show up. It's a pity that Nye Tian was recovering for the past few days, but was delayed by Nye Yuro's affairs yesterday, and today was his first visit to Baiyun Academy. Liang Yunfeng was in charge of managing the training room, and when he met Nye Tian in his territory, how could he let him go? That's right. Liang Yunlong roared angrily and said without hesitation, I am Liang Yunlong's eldest brother. You hurt my younger brother. I will avenge him today. Nye Tian is the rookie king and also Zhang Yifeng's teacher. He is in full bloom in Blue Cloud City. Naturally, Liang Yunfeng didn't dare to kill Nye Tian, but he still had to learn the necessary lessons. Is it up to you? Nye Tian smiled coldly, with a strange arc on the corner of his mouth. The battle between Ye Tian and Liang Yunlong was originally a fair fight, and life and death depended on fate. Moreover, it was Liang Yunlong who provoked him first. If Nye Tian was weaker, he wouldn't even be alive today. It is simply unreasonable for Liang Yunfeng to avenge Liang Yunlong with such fanfare. It's more than enough to teach you a lesson. Liang Yufeng clenched his fists loudly, his tyrannical aura burst out, and the surrounding crowd all changed their colors. Brother Fong, how can you use a sledgehammer to kill a chicken? I, Zhao Ho, am enough to deal with this little scum in the Yuanling realm. Before Liang Yufeng could make a move, a young man with a sharp mouth and monkey cheeks, who was as thin as a hemp pole, jumped out at once, finally his small eyes seemed not to wake up, and he shouted frantically. These inner court disciples have all heard of Nye Tian's name, but unfortunately, not many of them have seen him make a move. As for Nye Tian's defeat of Lan Benji and his confrontation with Qin Yedian, they were all considered exaggerated rumors. No one believed that a Yuanling warrior could fight against a giant spirit warrior. Chi Chi! Zhao Ho let out a strange laugh and immediately shot with lightning speed. Zhao Ho clenched his palms into claws, and a bony sharp claw appeared in the air immediately. With a piercing roar, it attacked Nye Tian's neck. Zhao Ho shot fiercely and decisively, and as soon as he made a move, he saw Nye Tian's vital point. If this claw hit Nye Tian, he would either die or be injured. Nye Tian didn't panic, his body shook slightly, and suddenly a piercing sword energy roared out. Ah! The next moment, accompanied by a mournful howl like killing a pig, Zhao Ho's five fingers flew in the air, drawing several lines of blood. Sword Qi! The lingering sword energy. Even before Nye Tian's sword was released, he easily cut off Zhao Ho's five fingers just by relying on his chilling sword energy. The eye-catching scene shocked everyone's eyes. Everyone gasped at the same time, looking at Nye Tian who was barely moving and felt that the tailbone was cold. Ah! My finger! Zhao Ho cried out in pain and picked up his finger on the ground tremblingly. But when he tried to pick up the last finger, a foot stepped on it. Nye Tian pressed his feet so hard that his fingers were crushed into flesh. 
You. Zhao Ho raised his head in astonishment, but he trembled with fright, and the finger he picked up with great difficulty fell to the ground again. Nye Tian said coldly, Missing one finger is a lesson for you. Next time, don't offend those you don't understand. Zhao Ho looked at Nye Tian in horror, quickly picked up the other fingers, fled like flying, and went to find someone to help him pick up the fingers. Nye Tian raised his head slightly, looked at Liang Yunfeng, and said calmly, your dog was beaten away, now it's your turn. Aren't you going to teach me a lesson? Now I'll give you a chance, let's do it. Liang Yunfeng didn't come out of his astonishment until now. Everything that happened just now was so weird that it was simply unimaginable. The faces of the people behind Liang Yunfeng turned pale with fright, and they were thankful that they were not the ones who attacked Nye Tian just now. Under the watchful eyes of everyone, Liang Yunfeng was embarrassed to admit his cowardice. He summoned up the greatest courage in his life and said fiercely, Stinky boy, since you want to die, I will be you. Before he finished speaking, Liang Yunfeng shot directly. Shua! A golden sword appeared in the air. The blade was more than three feet long, releasing a terrifying aura, and came down towards Nye Tian forcefully. Boss, be careful! Jean DeBeo screamed and backed away involuntarily. Nye Tian had long been on guard against Liang Yufeng's attack. This time, he turned slightly sideways to avoid Liang Yufeng's sword light, and at the same time condensed his fingers into a sword. When he pointed it out, there was a whistling in the air, and an astonishing sword energy gushed out. Dang! There was a sudden sound like gold and stone colliding. When the sword energy hit the golden sword, Liang Yunfeng suddenly felt a huge force shaking, and immediately his wrist went numb, and the tiger's mouth opened bloody mouth. The golden sword shattered immediately, Liang Yunfeng let out a scream, stepped back a few steps, and gushed out a mouthful of blood. The field was still again, so quiet that even the silver needle could be heard falling, and the sound of breathing was audible. No one expected that Liang Yunfeng would be defeated by Nye Tian with one move. The most unacceptable thing was that Nye Tian didn't even bring out any weapons, let alone use Yuan Ling. Jean DeBeo was also shocked. A few days ago, Nye Tian was still at the same level as Lan Binji. Now that he was able to completely abuse Liang Yunlong, this speed of improvement was too monstrous. Nye Tian is now at the fifth level of Yuan Ling. Compared with a few days ago, the biggest difference is that he has awakened the power of 32 stars and has condensed two kinds of sword energy. The most frightening thing is that Nye Tian's sword energy can maximize the power of the stars. Compared with fists, the power is several times higher. The current Nye Tian, even if he doesn't use the star soul, can completely torture any warrior below the fifth level of Vientiane. Liang Yunfeng held his injured wrist with one hand, staring at Nye Tian with resentful eyes as if he wanted to swallow him alive. Let's go. Nye Tian strode directly into the practice field without even looking at Liang Yunfeng. This is Baiyun Academy. Nye Tian doesn't want to kill people. Liang Yunfeng stared at Nye Tian's back. His eyes were full of viciousness. Little bastard, I'll kill you. Suddenly, Liang Yunfeng roared violently, and the golden saber appeared again, taking advantage of Nye Tian's turning around, he slashed at Nye Tian's back. 